gentlemen, uh, thank you again today for uh, joining us uh, in the MadCon universe. Today our goal is to teach you how to solve quadratic equations. So this will be what we call a focus on strategic problem solving and quadratic equation. Anytime you have an equation of this type, you have what we call a quadratic equation. You can solve quadratic equation in three different ways. But today our goal is to teach you how to solve quadratic equation in at least two different ways. All right, so let's take an equation of this form. Suppose you have x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. And you're given the operational word solve. How do you solve a problem like this? Well, we are going to explore this. One way you can solve this problem is to use factoring. Okay. So we can solve by factoring. So this will be our strategies. Strategies. We can solve by what? Factoring. That means if you have ax squared plus bx plus c problem, you can check to see if what? This is factorable. First you check and see if a is one or more. Is if a is one or uh, a number more than one, you need to take note of that. So our focus today is to focus on the case where a is one. So if a is one, what do we do if a is one? Well, if a is one, is what do we do for factoring? Focus then on B and C. On, and on B and C. You want to find two numbers. Two numbers you can what? Multiply to get C. Two numbers A and B. To get C. The same two numbers must be what? Added together. So in this case, I already have uh, uh, B and C in this situation. Let's change this uh, one of the numbers here so, uh, so we can use it appropriately. Let's call this number S and let's call this number T. Okay? So let's call this number S, T. So you need to find the numbers S and T, so that when you multiply S by T, you get C. Also, if you multiply, uh, if you add rather, if you add S to, to T, you must get what? B. So that is the key. So in this problem, we're going to find two numbers, we can multiply to get 6, and we need to be able to add the same two numbers, S and T, to get what? 5. Can you tell me the two numbers that will do the job? 2 and 3. 2 and 3, right? So we need to find two numbers, 2 and 3, that 
We can multiply to get six. Three and two. Three and two, thank you. Mr. Shermanick of Houston, Texas, thank you. So the numbers will be two and three. So two times three will give us six. <coughs> and then two plus three uh, will give us will give us five. Okay? I repeat. Two times three will give us uh, six. And then two plus three will give us what? Five. five. So those should be the candidates. So we're going to write now X plus two times what? X plus three on the left side of the equation and then equals what? The number zero. Notice we are solving quadratic equation using factoring method. Using factoring what? Method. That is our method here at this point. No? So, how do we finish the problem here? We are going to use something called the principle of zero product. That will be the second thing we're going to do in our strategy. Okay? The first thing we did in our strategy is to recognize that A is 1. Since A is 1, we're going to focus on what? The coefficient of X and then the number C. The coefficient of X here in this problem is 5. And then the other number is 6. So we need to find two numbers. We can multiply to get 6. And the same two numbers, we must add the same two numbers to get what? 5. And these two numbers are 2 and 3. Okay, that's our first strategy. The second strategy is what? To use the principle of zero product. Okay? First step in our strategy is this. And then the second step is to use the principle of zero product. Use the principle of zero product. Use the principle of zero product. <coughs> so how do we implement this principle? So we're going to take, since we have x plus 2 times x plus 3 equal to 0, we're going to use the principle that says if you have a times b equal to 0, which is the principle of zero product, said if this is the case, then a equal to 0 or what? B equal to zero. I repeat. A equal to zero or what? B equal to zero. That is the key of our principal product. So in this problem, our A is going to be X plus two. Our B is going to be what? X plus three. Our A, I repeat, is X plus 2, our uh, B is X plus 3. Then using the principle of zero product, we can break this problem down into what? We can do X plus 2 equal to 0, or X plus 3 equal to 0. So what does this mean? If X plus 2 equal to 0, what will X be? Anybody? If x plus 2 equal to 0, what will x be? Mr. Chavez of Houston, Texas, you said what? Negative 2. Thank you very much, Mr. Chavez. 
So x equals negative 2 or what? If x plus 3 equals 0, what will x be? <coughs> negative 3, Mr. Chavez. Thank you again for your positive contribution. So x equals negative 3. All right, so that means given a problem of this form, x squared plus 5, x plus 6 equals 0, using the factoring method that we have just talked about, our solution must be what? x equals two, to what? Negative 2 or what? x equals to what? Negative 3. Okay? Is there any question about these steps? Any question? First step in the strategy is to what? Identify to C in the quadratic equation given if A equals to 1 or not. Or is it a number greater than 1? But if it is just 1, then we're going to focus on the B and the C. In this problem, the B and the C happens to be 5 and 6. Again, we're going to find two numbers. We can multiply together 6, which is 2 and 3. And then we are also going to find two numbers we can add together to get the 5, which again is 2 and 3. So then we have to do the next major thing is to take the, the 2 and connect it with the X, take the 3 connect it with the X, and form a product, and form a product, which will be x plus 2 times what? x plus 3 equal to 0. So using the principle of zero product, that is the second step. We know that if you have a product, a times b equals 0, according to the principle of zero product, then a equals 0 or b equal to 0. And then, that means that in our problem, since we are connecting A with X plus 2 and B with X plus 3 and set it equal to 0, our solution will follow that, uh, our solution pattern will follow like this. It would then be that X plus 2 equal to 0 or X plus 3 equal to 0. Then that means what? That X will be what? Negative 2 or X will be what? negative 3. And this is going to be the final solution for this problem. Alright? Is there any more questions? Alright. If there are no questions, I encourage you to continue to solve this type of problem more and more. Okay, solve similar problems, and the more you solve this problem, the more proficient you're going to be in solving this type of problem. And the more you will continue to develop your mathematical problem solving confidence. Thank you for joining us today in the math. God, universe, and also the wonderful world of mathematics. Thank you very much.